Hi guys! So today we're going to be going through the Pokemon Sword and Shield Player's Guide. This was included in the Pokemon Sword and Shield Elite Trainer Box. I usually do get these um, for each set. I know that it's not always the best value in terms of packs per amount you spend. I think this was like 40 bucks or something like that. And you get 8 packs. Um, you get some cool sleeves. These ones I really liked. Um, I might have to see if I can get the, if they have the alternate sword one, because I'd really like to get both sets of sleeves. Um, my best pull from this box was this Lapras V card. Um, I haven't really done my homework yet on, on these cards, and if they work the same as kind of the GXs and things like that, or if they've got something special about them beyond that. Um, I see the usual, when your Pokemon V is knocked out, your opponent takes two prize cards, so that's kind of a similar mechanic. Um, I think it's weird that they're V, like considering it's Gigamax, Gigantamax, but um, I guess that's what they went with. So today I want to go through the player's guide. I realized I've never actually gone through one of these before. Um, they include them in every Elite Trainer box, it seems like. And I know it has like the card list. It might have some, some gameplay rules. So I'd like to go through one of these here. So we've got Zacian and Zamazenta here. The two main legendary doggos. We got, I ended up picking Pokemon Sword when I played through. I liked Sword Boy. Um, I think they're both kind of cool designs. But I just thought he was cool. And I wanted the fighting gym. So, let's see. All new Pokemon V and Pokemon V Max. They've got a Celebi in this set, it looks like. Delmise, which is kind of unexpected to me. I didn't realize that one was that popular. I, I really sometimes get surprised when I see that because I've never really used a Delmise on my team. Um, I have Torkoal V, which looks pretty cool. Glad to see some other Pokemon get in love here. Victini V. Um, I think that's probably the perfect V name since Victini's got the V-Create move. If, if any Pokemon was going to get a V-Styled card, it should definitely be them. Um, hey, there's my excited Water Boy Lapras here. And their prettier VMAX version, it looks like. Um, I really like the full art on this card. That's super cool. That's one of the ones that I saw... Um, when the set was released, I think they might have shown it in the trailer, and it was super cool. We've got Keldeo V, looking pretty snazzy here. Keldeo is one of those legendaries that I don't think I ever got in the game. I think, I don't know if it was given out in a special event kind of deal or something. But, um, I never really got to play, use Keldeo at any point. But I do think the design and the concept was cool with all the, the Swordmaster Pokemon. And we got Tapu Koko V. Legendary Island Pokemon. I, I remember this guy mostly because he played such a big part in Pokemon. Um, Pokemon Sun and Moon. The whole cutscene with him when you fall off the bridge and all of that. I remember him from, even though I didn't really ever end up using the Island Guardians. I don't use a lot of legendaries in my playthroughs, I find. Uh, so we got more Peko, more Pico. People pronounce it both ways. I think it's super cute, especially this big full art version, the VMAX card. 
Um, I, I didn't end up using this on my playthrough of Pokemon Sword, but I do want to go back and, and train one and breed one, try to get the shiny. Even though I, I think the shiny is just kind of a color flop, I think that's one of those ones where they just mildly change the color. We got a Wobbuffet V, which I think is kind of an interesting choice. Um, you'd think they'd use this slot for, I mean, this is definitely a, a well-known Pokemon because the Team Rocket have in it, but I would have thought they'd put a Mew or a, um, Alakazam or Gengar or something like that, especially because Gengar's got the, the Gigantamax form. And we got Ndidi, that's one of the new ones from Sword and Shield. I think that one's really cute. I'd, I'd be happy with that card if I ended up pulling it at some point. Let's see what else we got. We got some some rock boys here. Got Reggie Rock doing his thing. I'm excited that we're going to be getting some new Reggies coming up in the expansion. Um, on the, the season pass for, for Sword and Shield. Definitely going to be picking that up. St Stonejourner. I mean, he's just super cute. I like his little, his little emoticon face. Looks like he's doing his thing. I, I haven't put him on a team yet. I'm not really sure how good or bad he is. Um, I don't usually have a lot of rock Pokemon on my team, weirdly enough. I, I wouldn't be a rock type gym leader. Sojourner VMAX, another beautiful full art card. He's looking really spicy in this one. We got Sableye V. That's a very pretty, very pretty card. The gemstones and things. I, I would love that card. I, I think he's a cute little gremlin boy. Super cool. We got two doggo boys. Zacian V and Zamazenta V. Looking, looking fierce. I kind of, I wish there was a way that, I mean, you can trade for both of them, but I kind of wish there was a way to get both of them in the game, um, just naturally, although I, I kind of understand that part of the story is, explains why you don't end up with both of them, but I don't know, I feel like they should have a team attack or something like that. We got Snorlax V. He's a pretty bulky boy there. We got his VMAX form, which is super interesting to look at with the, the little road, and he's, he looks like he's got part of the wild area on him right there. That's super cute. 340 HP. What are you, what are you even going to do with that much HP? It's wild. Let's see who else we got. Oh, Cramorant V. This little guy. That's... I just think he's super cute. I know he's kind of a gimmicky Pokemon with the fact that he, he just kind of keeps another Pokemon in his mouth to, to spit up at you, but I, I think he's super cute. In terms of in terms of the weird bird Pokemon that they like to put in, I think he's a winner. He's super cute. Um, oh, we got Eldegoss floating around by Snorlax here. I feel like this is like a stock image of Snorlax. I, I feel like this just appears in like all of their marketing stuff. Let's see what we got here. We got six astounding combos straight out of Galar. Sword and Shield expansion has some great combinations. Make use of the new Pokemon, new attacks, and new strategies. Here are some big moves you could pull off with a little planning and a little luck. We got Frostmoth here, I guess, acting as support. Or, let me see. Put into nature of Lapras's VMAX. G-Max Pump makes it adjustable for combos, so that's pretty snazzy. I guess these might be competitive combinations here. We got the Frostmoth and Lapras combo. We've got the Rylaboom and Delmise combo. That's pretty snazzy. Um, I don't really play too much competitively. My local gaming shop is having one of those, um, they do little tournaments 
with the like new release packs where you get like a, a stack of cards and you get a couple packs of the new the new set and we've got to build the deck from that i really like playing those um kinds of games just because everyone's kind of you get stuck with whatever cards you get and everyone's got to kind of play around it that's my favorite kind of play Let's see top new top trainer cards from sword and shield the air balloon here Evolution and Sense. We got Marnie. Metal Saucer. Um, I'm really in it for the full art trainers when it comes to what I'm looking for in this set. I think there's a full art Marnie floating around somewhere. Got some more of these trainers. Ooh! New special energy. Aurora energy. Is this just a different take on the rainbow energy, maybe? Attach this card to one of your Pokemon. Only if you discard another card from your hand, as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides every type of energy, but only provides so that's that's basically rainbow energy. It just looks super cool. That's just flexing. Oh, we got Wooloo down here. Super cool. We got Dreadnought. They do the card list. It surprises me that they've got Durant down here as a grass type, considering he's he's a steel type. I could see them putting him in fighting, but we do have steel type cards. Just the the run through different cards. We've got the groupie evolution line. We've got the the big brain beetle line here. Gossifor and Eldegoss. This is one of my favorite arts for Vulpix. I ended up getting one of those and I was like, oh, wow, this thing is super cute. Um, I got Heatmore, Salanda and Salazzle. Got the Score Bunny line looking cute. Sent to Scorch and Sizzly P line. All the little mollusks and crabs over here. A little fish. Mantine. Remember seeing these jumping all over the place in the wild area and avoiding them like the plague after I got Mantine and Mantine for the Pokedex. Sobble and Drizzile. Um, I ended up choosing Sobble on my on my first run and I definitely was not disappointed. Leon put in a ton of work in my in my playthrough. Got the super adorable Snom. I am just waiting for them to put a Snom V card out there because you know people are gonna run that for the cute memes. We got Pikachu and Raichu, always included in each set. Oh, the Emperor is so cute. The Emperor is just one of those ones, along with like more Paco and the and the cute little Snom and Pin Pinsurchin and all of them that just make you happy to look at. I um I didn't do a whole lot of research on the Pokemon that were gonna be in Sword and Shield before I bought the game, mostly because I wanted to be surprised as I walked through the grass. Um, usually, I'm the type that like looks for all the leaks and looks for all of the like data mines and stuff so that I can see every Pokemon and kind of pre-plan my team. But for this line or for this set of games, I was like, nope, I wanna I wanna be surprised and kinda have that experience of like what am I gonna run into? What am I gonna put on my team? Um Mudsdale in the the Mudbray line was one that I, I put on my team. I really like, I think it's like stamina is its ability where every time it gets hit its defense goes up. Really like that ability for, for PvE. It was a staple. Super sweet Sableye. The very metal core zigzagoon obstagoon line looking cool. Um, the, the new Meowth Viking kind of look I thought was a little interesting. Um, I really liked more foxes with the evil line. 
Um, it really confused me when I was trying to complete my decks and I needed a Persian that was normal. And I was like, how in the world am I supposed to get that from, from um, the Viking looking one? But then I realized that um, the, the distribution Meowth that was normal and that you could Gigantamax was one that I could breed for that, I think. Okay, we've got Corviknight. Oh, Lulu just sitting here. How cute. I hope that they release a shiny card of that, because it's the little black sheep idea. It's a very, very cute idea. And we got the trainers. Got some berries. Poke Kid. Pokemon Center. I mean, I guess we could just have that be Nurse Joy, but it's Pokemon Center, lady. Okay, here's the here's the cool stuff. We've got the full arts, super snazzy. I've yet to get one of these, but I'm excited. I'm gonna definitely pick up some more packs before they release the next lineup of of this, because I really, really want to get. Um, we got Full Art Marnie, who's super cool. I think they've got some like Pokemon trainers that are full art. Um, Professor's Research is pretty decently cool. The Team Yell Grunt is one that I would really love to get for the Rainbow Rare. Um, and these gold cards are cool. I think it's neat that they're doing these in gold because I'm really used to only getting the, the secret rare gold items. Which are neat, but it's kind of more fun to get. Pokemon in gold, I think. I mean, you can certainly throw all gold ones in your deck and be, like, super snazzy, but um, I really, really think that's a cool card, the Marnie card, um, and then probably more Peko and the gold doggos are super cool. And let's see, anything else? Oh, they've got the the deck boxes, the theme decks. I usually don't buy these. Um, kind of a sucker for the type of opening up packs and things. Um, when I was younger, I used to buy these because I thought the value was like way better. And I think these are probably a really good way to get started in Pokemon. If, if you either don't really know how to build the deck or if you have someone that's younger that's looking to get an idea of how to build the deck, plus I think they've got the, um, the instructions of play in them, so, I mean, I'd probably go with the Italian, do Italian deck, even though I don't know what else it's got in there. And we've got Pokemon TV. It's an interesting advertisement. You'd think they'd want to advertise, like, Pokemon Masters or something like that, which is their gotcha game, but, and Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, yeah, so I will probably be getting some more packs with this set. Um, I'm still looking for some guys from Cosmic Eclipse and a couple of those older sets. I really, really like the tag teams. I think the VMAX cards are cool. I know probably eventually they're gonna do like a tag team VMAX or something. Because those bad boys sold like hotcakes, and I just love the idea of Pokemon teaming up. Especially some of the unlikely team-ups they gave. So, fingers crossed, um, more tag team trainers would be incredible. I am- I will like sell my soul if we can get a Piers and Marnie tag team. That would be incredible. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.